black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, so here's the deal with it today. One of my most like VIP subscribers has been in my inbox for months now being like, I wanna get a bunch of places in your city that you've never tried and per week possibly, or maybe, you know, every two, I wanna sponsor a mystery meal from one of those places. Basically, I order it in for you. You have no idea what you're eating and then you go pick it up and bring it back and unfold the excitement of a mystery meal from a local spot that I've never tried and basically eat my way through the Bay, Thunder Bay where I live. So really dope, really awesome, very generous, super appreciative of, and it's a nice little fun mission. So I'm in the whip, we're gonna crack it on, hit some AC and head up to where we're going. I just got the details of the place that I'm going because I don't even know until the order's placed where I'm going. So we're going to a place called Barbecupid, which is dope because on my list of places that I sent, Daphne, the subscriber, uh, that's definitely like a top one. I've been on their Instagram and I've seen uh, their menu and items and pictures and things and it looks like one of the places that's gonna do it right. So I'm really hoping for success on this. I'm gonna put this bitch into gear. We're gonna go pick up the mystery bag and then we're gonna have a patio party, little lunch kind of date deal and unravel this mystery meal, okay? So onward and upward to the top part of my city, Port Arthur, to grab this meal. All right, let's go. We are rolling up on the spot just on the right here, I do believe. Barbecue, there she is, big pink sign. Okay, so we have arrived. Time to go in and get the goods. See you in a sec. All right, hefty, big old brown bag mystery meal procured, acquired, and she's smelling very smoky. So let's try to race the bad weather back to my patio and grab up this last little bit of sunshine and blue skies because in this area it's starting to get real gray and real scary looking and I'm definitely nervous as to if I'll be able to eat outside but we'll see if we can make it work. All right as you can see we have made it to the deck we got the big old bag here it's a mystery so we're gonna have to solve this mystery let's pop these things out and get to finding out what we got in the bag before we do that big shout out Daphne for hooking this up We'll talk about some other things, but let's get to the food. All right, mystery box one, looking good. I don't know, it's quite hefty, so that's nice. I have no idea what it might be. Mystery box two, even more hefty, so also no idea, except for I do see a fry, kind of like a sweet potato one, maybe. <laughs> another big old hefty box. And another final big old hefty box. Okay, so the weather, we got black clouds on this side, nice sky on this side. I think we're gonna make it though. It's all good. We got a big old water. I brought some utensils. And then just because you guys know me, saucy guy, I brought ranch, some sweet baby rays, and a bottle of ketchup with no understanding of what I'm about to eat, but I did not wanna get caught without sauces. So let's go ahead and get into these boxes straight away here. Um, I do wanna say, one thing uh, my sister put in this order. So basically she, Daphne emailed me like an explosive email essentially. I couldn't open it. So I had to forward it to my sister on the day of my sister put in the order, told me where to go. I show up, pay. Uh, however, they didn't have one of the items that was on the requested list. So she made her best adjustment to Basically, she told me that she replaced a quesadilla-like item with a more sandwich-like item that's sort of like a quesadilla or something like that. So in my head, I feel like it's this one. So I'm gonna go with this one first and see what we have. Nope, not at all like a quesadilla. We got a mac and cheese right on deck. So I'm glad I brought some ketchup for that. Next mystery box, we're gonna go into this. We have fries with some sort of a sandwich. To me, it's looking very, 
I want to say pulled pork, crispy onions type thing, fries. That's what I'm smelling. And now I'm happy that I brought barbecue sauce. And I'm also happy that the sun's coming out. Yes, this is perfect. It's working out. I really thought this video was going to get dumped on. Ooh, something I didn't expect. Uh, it looks like a grilled broccoli type thing, sort of different sauces. Maybe some feta cheese on there, it looks like, perhaps. I do love broccoli, so we're good on that. And the last mystery box, what do we got? Ooh, I have no idea what those are. They look, I don't know, like a, almost, I might say like a garlic parm chicken something. Oh, no, okay, I'm seeing some cauliflower. So some sort of a fried cauliflower item. All right, so I'm 24 hours fasted. Um, I'm super excited to eat this. Once again, big shout out Daffy for coming through and uh, making this happen. Her idea being that I try a bunch of different places around the city that I've never tried that she's gonna sponsor. So let's get right into this. I gotta go into whatever this is, this cauliflower, because it's the most intriguing to my mind. So hopefully you can get it. Also, I'm shaking like a leaf because I'm so fasted and I also had a coffee, so I'm just like, on it mm -hmm. it's like a cheesy fried what feels like a garlic parm cauliflower bite and it's really good however I'm gonna have to hit it with the valley I feel like I just need to try it with a little little extra sauce on there she's so gonna go ahead and just fork one see how much better it is like that Mmm. All right. So far, so good. Okay, I want to try this mac and cheese next. All right. Very, um, not super creamy. Has definitely come together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely good, but could have like a deeper, cheesier flavor. But definitely pretty good. Sorry if I feel like I'm rushing, but I'm so hungry. <laughs> All right, next, gotta get this broccoli. Definitely gotta try this broccoli. It's got a red sauce, what looks like a hot sauce, and a creamy sauce. Maybe some bacon, it looks like almost, and some red onions. Interesting, very interesting. Have to get deeper in to understand it. So it's definitely some sort of bacon and onion. Charred broccoli, grilled broccoli. I think feta cheese, some sort of a hot sauce and a creamy sauce. Mm 
-hmm. It's a good dish. Am I in love? Mm. I'm not sure. I'm beginning to think that it's a white cheese sauce. I think almost like the base of a like a mac and cheese like a bechamel mm -hmm. if I had to guess okay let's try a fry Definitely not sweet potato, regular, but definitely a house, homemade. Like russet potato fry. So here's what the quesadilla got replaced with. A pulled pork sandwich with crispy onions. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that they probably had a pulled pork quesadilla. That now no longer exists. When I said the bag smelled smoky, this is what I was smelling. It looks like uh, there's some sort of a cabbage law underneath. Not a whole lot, but. This is actually really good. The uh, the barbecue sauce is good. It's quite sweet, actually. And I like how the pulled pork isn't too like swampy, like too moist. Definitely a solid bull pork sandwich. Simple, but I think that's how it should be. But good. A little ketchup on the mac and cheese. <laughs> don't judge, don't judge. Full transparency. Me and Daphne already tried to knock one of these out like a few months back. And everything in the experience, in the trial run, that could have went wrong, went wrong. And the whole video just ended up being a complete and total Just scrap, like can't upload. The restaurant. I tried to do it in my truck. And she had specified to the restaurant like he'll be eating in the vehicle, so he needs 
cutlery, napkins, all the things, wet naps, because the order had chili, wings, ribs, all that stuff in it. And I went and pulled up to like the eating, eating location in my truck. And I go to start eating wings, ribs, chili, coleslaw, and there was no fork, no spoon, no napkins, nothing. So I'm, I was sitting, <laughs> sitting there trying to eat coleslaw and chili with like the lid of the container. I popped the lid and like folded it in half. I was like spooning those ingredients or those dishes into my face with, with lids. And then the wings and ribs were on beds of arugula and so hot food on top of arugula like when i was pulling the wings and ribs out saucy hot wings they just had wilted arugula hanging all off them and it was just so off-putting and then like i had ordered a gopro because i wanted to try using a gopro for videos in my truck and the GoPro footage just came out like absolutely horrendous so just through and through it was a terrible video the food was like gross too it was just like the, the wings were soggy the ribs were terrible the chili was like chalky and pasty like I said, everything that went wrong could have went wrong. And I felt so guilty, like hitting her back, being like, I can't upload it. Like it was a waste of, money essentially. But hey, every series needs a pilot episode, right? <laughs> and you can't upload a bad pilot. can't set the precedent with a bad pilot you know so at least in this situation everything's going great everything tastes good I got everything I needed I made sure to tip out there's like a lone, a lone cook by himself there Made sure I gave him a good 20%. And the weather held off. So we're doing all right. definitely enough food for a few people there's no way I'm gonna get through all this it's hard to say what was the best I know one thing Personally, I'm not a huge fan of like these style of fries, like r russet, fresh, home cut fries. I just like a golden crispy type fry. This guy's giving me guff. Probably wants, probably wants some. 
Mm, I would say probably the sandwich was the best. It's hard to choose between these two. I'm going to go with the fried cauliflower. I think the fried cauliflower is like pretty on point. Um, I assume if you get it in house, like if you're dining in, they probably serve it with a sauce. So it would be interesting to know what it would be like with an intended sauce for these. I see the broccoli probably after that because a lot of good flavors. And then the mac and cheese, because the mac and cheese was just a bit bland. Like it needed like a sharper, punchier cheese and maybe like a crispy top or something like that. But overall pretty solid. I'd probably give this like, like a seven, seven rating probably type deal. But, uh, Mm-hmm. That's definitely solid. But yeah. So so appreciated. Daff. Finally I was able to get to this. I wanted to do it like a week ago, but it rained for a week straight and I wanted to eat outside, so was finally able to get to it very very enjoyable <sighs> full also adult excited because when i rolled up home this the city finally planted a tree that got knocked down during construction <laughs> last year and they replanted a tree and then i came home and there's like a, a a woman working for the city and she was watering the tree and i was like fully like an in an adult moment like yes my tr my tree is getting watered <laughs> on the city property in front of my place so <laughs> i fully adulted out on that one it's true we're becoming old around here it feels like because <laughs> i get excited about simple shit like that but hey there's something to be said about the shrubbery and the greens around your place i mowed my lawn today and you know like you take your lawn from shitty to nice and you're like you kind of step back and you have like your hank hill moment and you're like that's what's up <laughs> like i did that that looks nice it smells good you know what i mean anyways rambling but very delicious possibly we'll do another one in the future i'm not sure uh until the next one you know what to do eat good live well cut your grass water your trees and stay true <laughs>